Marianne. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be doing a mini happy planner plan with me for the week of July 27th through August 3rd. I know this says April, May. That's because I pulled this out of an old planner because I wanted to show you guys a horizontal spread. Um, I don't do these very often because I don't like them, but I thought you might be interested in seeing, you know, different ways you can decorate horizontal. So that's why I'm doing it. I currently use a dashboard layout, so I like that better. Um, I tried the mini vertical, did not like that much either, so the dashboard seems to work better for me than all of them, even though that's still hard to decorate as well. Um, so I pulled this out of an older planner. It's like a wrong, one of the wrong, wrong minis that ended in 2019, I think. So I'm going to be using the Happy Quote sticker book, this new one, because it's super cute and I haven't used it yet. So why not give it a shot? Um, the first thing I'm going to do though is cover up these little decorations because I don't like them and they're not going to match my spread at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and white out that little guy on the bottom and this one on the top. And then I think I might cover that instead of whiting it out because that's kind of big. So just get rid of those things. And then we have like a neutral blue spread, which is like going to be really cute, I think. So because there's this blue color in it, it does match it pretty well. Um, the first thing I want to do is figure out what to put down here. And I will have to put some things here to cover this up, but we'll figure that out. So um, I'm thinking about a typewriter or one of those envelopes in here, which are so cute. One of these, but I could maybe do both in this spread, honestly. I think I want to use the envelope down here. Um, maybe I will just cover it up with white out because then this is going to cover up pretty much that whole thing, I think. So let's just do it. This is Tombow Correction Tape. I use this to white out things I don't like in my planner that's already on the design because I love neutral planners. This one's not neutral, so... Okay, well, let's figure out the colors in the spread first. I'm gonna be using some of those little post-it note things. I also thought about using like a big list. Let's see, is there two pages of lists? I might have to stop this video partly through because a tow truck is coming to get my car because I lost my car keys and I don't have a spare. Lesson learned. Um, so yeah, so a tow truck is coming to t tow it to the dealer so that they can program a new key. It's gonna cost me a lot of money. Not crazy about that, but it is what it is. So I have this, this, and then those other two. I have to decide which ones. Let's look at those envelopes again. I'm thinking like this one, maybe. Unless I really brought in the yellow, but I'm kind of thinking more of like a soft look. Also, what I just noticed, you see those little cross things? Look, there's some in the middle there, so it matches, which is kind of cool. Um, I kind of want to maybe put something down to like peek out under it, but I don't know what, probably nothing in this book. So let's try to stick just to this book. Um, unless we do a little layering, hold up, of like some of these boxes, maybe a letter board, or one of the ones from, there's this, what if we do some peach? Some peach and like teal. Let's look at those colors. We've got, this is more like green. So we could do like a peach and green and maybe a little bit of pink or yellow. Let's look at the envelopes again. Sorry, I really didn't have any ideas when I started this. I'm just kind of doing it with you guys right now. There's another page of these. 
So we'll do a peach and a green, and then I think a yellow would be kind of cute. Peach, green, and yellow. All right, let's look at the letter boards again, because maybe we'll overlap this with a letter board. We could do that dark yellow. I don't know how that's gonna go with the peach, but. Or we can do the lighter yellow. I'm starting to regret the decision of this green because this blue is here. So I'm gonna put this back, I think. I think I'm really just trying to fit in the color because I want one of these long boxes, but that's probably not the way to go. Um, but I think I could pull in some yellow. I just don't know if yellow and peach really match. That's the issue. But I think I wanna use this blue. Let's see. So what if I got one of these? Where are they again? Sorry again for all the flip through. I don't know why I'm flipping through this much, but it is what it is. These. Oh, there's none that are blue though. I was hoping there'd be a blue one. We could do pink instead of the peach. We could do pink and yellow. What if I did pink and yellow and light blue? Let's try it. So we're gonna layer. So I'm gonna put this down. Do I want this? I probably want this right up to the blue line there. I could always bring in some washi tape too, um, but I'm not sure I want to use it today. We'll see. It's crooked. All right, I gotta put this sticker down. I can't possibly do this with stickers on my hands. Okay, so there's that. Let's add this underneath. But the problem is we can't because it's gonna take up, it's gonna go into that. I don't really want it to. All right, sorry guys. I know that I've barely put anything down. Maybe it's the stickers that have changed and not the paper because this is the old paper. Um, now I'm having trouble pulling the sticker up off the old paper. I think the stickers are what's changed. Hmm, okay. Well, we can't use this because I can't, we can maybe use it over here, but I can't pull this up. I was gonna pull this up and cut off this happy notes on the top to move it up to give myself some room, but I can't. So it's okay, we'll make it work. It's just stickers, it's not like, um, you know, there's, not, there's no big crisis here, we're okay. So this has a little yellow push pin, so I'm gonna use that, because how cute is that? I'm gonna put it on Monday. All right, I'm gonna put, I know I'm like kind of going all over the place, but I'm gonna put a pink, a pink um, envelope right here. All right. Bear with me, I know it seems a little bit of a, like a weird color combo, but also I kind of like it too. So I think it might work. We're gonna use a yellow typewriter. Where are we gonna put that? Thinking down here to cover up that white out maybe. But then it's like right across from that. Maybe I wanna put it up here. But I think I wanna white out a little bit of this line because Otherwise you're gonna see half the line and half not the line and you're really gonna realize that there's um, there's white out there. So I don't really want you to, to know that. So 
Write it on your heart. Okay. Now, I don't know what else. I know we kind of have to contend with this area down here, but I'll find something to go there. Maybe like a quote. So we're gonna do some pink, although I don't know if I want the red one. Let's see. I guess that's be better than than um, not. Okay. Um, let's see. This is a confusing one, you guys. I'm a little confused. I'm gonna use, I wanna put it here, but I guess just right there. We need to pull some more blue in. Let's do that. Some light blue. How about this? It's like a little iPhone. How cute is that? It says, bestie, what's up, babe? Yes, girl, yes. Like, I don't know. I think it's cute. Let's put it over here. It's okay that's gonna go into Sunday. I'm all right with that. And then we'll put something there on Sunday, maybe a little box, I don't know. Or maybe these little quotes. Those are cute. They don't mean blue though. But they have yellow. I know it's a lot of yellow, but that'll give us something to write on for Sunday. I don't like this. I still wanna put something under here, so let's figure that out. I do like this Think Positive a lot. Maybe I just put this here and just put this down and not put anything there. It will cover that white out part. Let's do it. I know it's introducing other colors into here, but um, I'm kind of okay with that because it's really cute. Maybe I wanna put one of these on each day, like that. Let's try that. Maybe I'll just put those on the left side of the page and not on the right, I don't know. Is there a yellow one? Maybe I don't, maybe I want another blue one. kind of cute actually I kind of like that and it it doesn't have to be that on the other side of the page either we can put something else there I don't know you guys I don't know all you wanted to do today is tune in to a YouTube channel where the person had no idea what they were doing I know that 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 was your kind of goal for today maybe they can teach me a thing or two no, they can't teach me anything today. <laughs> you know, I'm just struggling because it's it's a um, it's a horizontal. Horizontals are hard. They're not easy. I like that better. I think maybe pull this one up here. Um, yeah, horizontal. It's difficult. So, I feel your struggle. If you're if you're um, struggling with it too. Let's see if there's any of those, any more of those post-its that are yellow. Did I see like other post-its or was that it? Yeah, they don't have yellow. Okay. We're going to use another blue. Oh, hi, Almond. Almond's wanting attention right now. 
we'll use another blue. We'll put it here. Maybe I want another one of that color just to kind of pull it together so that it's all the same. I should put a piece of washi tape where that was so I would remember so I didn't have to flip, 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 flip. Okay, so do we want like a, I know that's purple. Almond, I can't pet you right now, baby. I am filming. She always wants attention when she wants it on her terms, not when I want to give it to her. I don't like that this like goes like that, but maybe. Hmm, okay, wait, I'm rethinking here. Hopefully this video isn't like two hours long because I would like to do this and not edit it. Let's do this and this. Okay, that's actually kind of cute. All right, I'm putting this one back because it doesn't, I feel like it does not match the rest of the spread as much. Now I think just like one thing there, let's go for like a little quote or something and be done with it. Oh, we have to change the date too. I can't forget to do that. Okay, um, I think I wanna like try to match this down here. So there's this cute little hello, which I think would be cute, but let's see what else. Or one of those. Almond, I love you, but you need to stop poking me. I wish I could show her to you, but as soon as I go to pick her up, she'll run away. So it's it's useless. How about this hello possibilities? I'm just gonna stick it down right there. Hmm. I don't love it. Let's put it back. Um, let's go back and just get that hello. I think the black was throwing me off a little bit. It just kind of adds a little bit of those colors in up here, okay. I don't love that either, but it's fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna cover this. So let's white this out. So the trick with horizontal planners, which I've learned is kind of try not to pay attention to the lines, although I did a lot in this layout, so maybe don't listen to me on that, but if you don't pay attention to the lines, it works a little bit better, I feel like. Um, so let's go in the new handwritten plans book, and we're gonna grab a July sticker. And we don't have to do July slash August. We can just do July. That'll be enough. And do I wanna just put it down or do I wanna make it cute somehow? I'm just gonna stick it there. It doesn't have to be adorable. It's cute as it is, cause it's like got really cute writing, right? This is bugging me here, like on this side, there's something bugging me. Um, and I'm not sure what. Maybe this typewriter should have really been here or something. It's like kind of all jumbled there, but I did want to cover that white out. And if I pulled that up, I wouldn't have anything else. Maybe if I move this blue one over, I don't know. It's just that like, it's sort of jumbled looking. It's not the look I go for in my planner. I try to make it cohesive as best I can. I think I like it better moved over. It's not perfect, but I think it's a lot better. Okay, let me know in the comments below what you think. It's cute and it's gonna be fun to write in. So like, I don't care. 
It doesn't have to be perfect and it still is cute. Like I said, horizontal is hard, you guys. Let me know in the comments if you have a hard time with horizontal as well. And I hope if you do use a mini horizontal that maybe this gave you some tips and some, I don't know, insight, some inspiration. All right, stay tuned for Doodle of the Day. See you soon, bye.